I'm Seth Woodall, conservative Republican for Lieutenant Governor. I was born and raised in this state. I love God and my family. I met Stephanie when we were in middle school. We started dating in the 12th grade, and we've been together ever since, but it hasn't been without its bumps. Honestly, when we graduated, my dad was skeptical of Seth. He wasn't sure he was gonna be able to provide for me, but I knew I'd picked a good one. To be fair, he had good reason to be cautious. I performed poorly in high school, but I was determined to make something of myself. I went to community college and transferred to a university before going to law school. I'm the first person in my family to graduate from college. Since then, I've been able to run a successful business that has provided not only for me and my family, but for my employees as well, in the town that I was raised in. I've been blessed in that hard work and determination have allowed me to achieve great success. But as proud as I am of the businesses I've built and the successes that I've had, I've never forgotten my roots, nor what's important. If I could spend every day of my life with my wife and my kids enjoying the outdoors, I'd be the happiest man alive. As you can probably tell, I'm not a politician. I've never had political ambitions. I've always been content providing for my family and enjoying the blessings that the Lord has provided. But while I've enjoyed life at home, I've watched as our culture has declined. Protests turned violent across America. Inflation has now hit a new four-decade high. Judges are striking down the state's latest voter ID law. I've watched as the woke mob has become more radical and climate extremists even more extreme. I've watched as Biden has left our southern border wide open. I've felt the impacts of being unable to fill positions in a business and how inflation is forcing families to make difficult decisions about what they're going to go without. But I'll tell you what the turning point was for me. It was when they started coming for our kids. I don't care what any politician says, no one is going to push their agenda on me or my children. My daughters will not share a locker room with men. My sons will not be led to question their gender. And before anyone tries to tell you that this is not happening in North Carolina, they're dead wrong. I've experienced this firsthand, and I have no doubt that many of you have stories of your own. I'm running for Lieutenant Governor because enough is enough. I'd rather run my business, enjoy time with my family, but I'm worried that if I don't step up and do something now, it won't be long before our state and our nation is unrecognizable. I'm running because I feel like I don't have a choice. As your Lieutenant Governor, I'll fight to curb inflation, stand with law enforcement officers, defend the Second Amendment, protect the life of the unborn, secure our elections, and most importantly, I will never stop fighting to protect my children or yours. So in this Republican primary for Lieutenant Governor, remember y'all, vote Woodall.